All right, y'all, let's go ahead and talk about special style in Tekken 8. And whoo this is such a <laughs> split decision on people either enjoying it or people that are just getting inflamed for using special style. And I'm going to go ahead and talk in a casual sense. Somebody that's completely new to the Tekken franchise. I've actually only been playing Tekken like maybe five days. Tekken 8 is my first ever that I've actually tried to take a little bit more seriously in a competitive notion in terms of ranking up and doing things. Now, special style was something that I came across. We're going to talk about some goods and then we want to talk about the bad and then just talk about my overall opinion. So just make sure to stick around and also drop your thoughts on this also. Uh, just special style, anything that comes to mind when you hear the word special style. <laughs> um, the goods, obviously it gives you simplistic combos. So special style, you just press one button combos literally but it doesn't just help with that it helps with everything in terms of like engaging like uh like your armors in simplified terms your heat burst and it helps you string your rage art a lot faster and but there are some breakdowns i know i know some creators have broken down some of the essences of using actual uh special style we're gonna we're gonna cover more of that on the cons but just just knowing that in terms of some of the frame data it, it is a little bit different but it is good for overall just one if you pick up a beginner character with special style you literally can rank up like anywhere like yes. characters like characters like uh, i would say probably like Alcicena or victor or lily maybe even lars um let me see who else i looked into there's a few other characters maybe somewhat law and i don't know there's a, there's a few more missing out on y'all can go ahead and just comment what y'all think also um but those are some of the characters i felt like if you use special style and they're kind of already beginner friendly um to to match in the first point like special style becomes really really great for that now the great thing about special style is that is it's not a one and done thing so if you use special style you're using it as an input so you are if you're on controller you're wasting an input for that so you can either switch in and out of it of the special style and so it kind of does suck though at that point when you're really trying to uh i guess take your skills to the next level um again that could be a con but i'll elaborate more on that in a little bit but yeah special style is easy you can match with it it helps with heat burst and it helps with like rage art stringing those things together especially and then just all types of punishes and counters that allows for you to do that and yeah it's just great and then the great thing about it also you can also switch in and out of it every time throughout your fight so you can play classic for a while but if you feel like you're what i did my first two days of Tekken is what when I, I was playing classic and then if i felt like i was getting my ass kicked too much i would start switching into like special style then i'll switch right back out of it again just because the the buttons are different and that is going to go into now which we're transitioning into some of the cons like special style just hands down if you're kind of intimidated by this gameplay and you feel like you're getting your ass kicked, Special Style can save you from that. If you're a beginner or if you're just someone who doesn't want to really grind that much in terms of putting the time to learn every type of notion and motion in this game, there are a lot of things to learn in this game. And so that's just kind of your aspect. Like what I said, I used it my first two days and I would use it back and forth. And then as I got into my third day, I decided that it actually was, which is now, let's talk about it, a con. So there are a lot more cons in my opinion than there is actual pros for this. Like, so let's talk about one con being the fact that when you go into special style, like all your inputs change. Like I noticed like pokes are different. I would have to hit like back in a poke or back one. And that already makes everything a lot different, especially if you're kind of newer and you're under pressure in these rank modes, you can tend to start mashing or you can tend to start just doing different things under pressure. This game makes you really think and it could be very overwhelming at how much these legacy players are gonna shit on you <laughs> let these are legacy players in this game that have mastered tekken for the last 15 years plus at times and they could be in the earlier ranks right now just because the game is still very early and they haven't had time to grind it as much and maybe they're just taking their time to just easily just just zoom through all the rankings at least to get to red ranks pretty quick and a con about it what i found out on my third day when i noticed i just no longer even wanted to use it was the fact that like the everything changes on my inputs i was like okay i don't like this so when i was under pressure i was trying to do certain things in back in classic mode but i've noticed i'm still like in special style and then sometimes it would just like if i'm just mashing in totality like it can just it, it slips in and out and then it also just shows like uh another con can be like it also just shows like the chart and you don't want to see like the chart at the bottom left it just it looks like, especially if you're like a streamer or a gamer, you know, you can get kind of flamed for it and people get really pissed at it too. Also, they get real toxic. Again, it doesn't really bother me, but I know that if you're newer, I feel like that will put a lot more pressure on you. You know what I mean? They're, they might try to pressure you into getting into like wanting to play without it. 
but um yeah that's just that so you'll see the like the full ass menu come on your screen so you get it really narks on you like yo you're using special style versus like street fighter modern controls they never really said that but this one's like loud and proud like yo special style is on the menu right now and it shows the other player also so yeah just you take that with whatever you think and then like what i said the inputs do change also another thing is like when you think longevity in this game this game's a franchise game obviously this game's just like you know like mortal kombat call of duty Tekken, Street Fighter, you know what I just mentioned. These are household names that are always fundamentally pretty much the same game. And when you jump into a game, if you're like me and you've never played this franchise, the first thing you want to do is take, you don't want to ride too much, like use the training wheels too much, just because you would rather be fundamentally sound, just in case they have any updates or changing any mechanics to anything. So you always want to know the fundamental core base play stuff. And so therefore I found out that instead of using special style, it takes away an input for me and I play on controller. I don't play on hitbox or anything. And so when I want to play on controller, I was like, you know what? Instead of having the special style as like a L1 on, on PlayStation or left bumper on Xbox um, or shout out PC players. I was just like, you know what? I don't want my special style there instead. Instead, I could use that as like another grab or another throw, another type of tech that I can use to help break techs, especially when you play uh, face players like King and stuff um, that are very much like, you know, block, block, uh, pressure, throw, grab, wrestle. Obviously, it's King. He's monumental. So I love the fact, I hate the fact as far as a con that it does take away an input and you could just switch that out for an actual input. And then last but not least, again, like without going kind of just writing back to this like longevity thing, I just feel like you would learn a lot more if you just keep trying the classic style just because it really does elevate your gameplay later on because you can only mash and use special style so long throughout. I think you'll get through the immediate ranks really good. I think by the time you get to really good ranks, like if you're at even trying to rank up that much, again, this is a different... This could be a different decision. I know a lot of people are going to have opinions on this part. But if you're really trying to get it like a little bit past the red ranks and stuff, like having that special style and mashing like a beginner character both carrying you in this game is probably not always going to be the best aspect because if you want to pick up other characters, it, it'll probably be a little bit weirder or maybe like just in the long term, you just you just never really learn. So the the smaller this game like every moment every breath matters whether it's your your 3d movement essentials your pokes your frame data like all this stuff and with special style and with easier characters to use you don't really learn all that vocabulary you don't learn all those things that really help out like mix-ups and punishes and armor breaks and also text and everything like that all of those are really through the learning process of just playing classic all day and and actually higher ranked players are gonna really recognize they'll smell the blood in the water they're gonna know like oh yeah he's just like using special style and they'll kind of know already including like myself already i'm like more of an intermediate player i'm not like all badass but we already kind of know like oh, okay they're not gonna know as much mix-ups uh they're not gonna know about like a, a lot of the neutral block essentials and a lot of the text and so I'm, I'm able to just attack that way but in my opinion it is a con for the long run if you're looking to really learn the game, you know who really puts the time more on the classic side. When you just, like what I said, when I said all the things mentioned, like when you know your posts, your frame data, your, all your movement, you know, you can tell like with special style and with people who are just using like a little bit easier characters where you can just press one and two all day. Uh, you notice that like they don't use certain like aspects of experience where you're just like, oh yeah, I could just like punish them this way. Oh, that's cool. I'll throw this mix up over here. Oh, this stream is going to be easy. Like, we just kind of know, even if we're in the same ranking system, like the same prowess and everything like that, it just, you could just notice the lack of learning. And that's really crucial to like take it to the next level. I think once you, if you go so far with only special style on that, it is so hard to like revert back unless you just start reverse boosting or something. You know what I mean? So it's a long process, but I think that longer route is a lot better. I believe trying it like day one and day two just to like see how the game kind of flows it's pretty cool i agree with special style on that but i think in terms of like the long run i just don't really agree with it a lot of people probably get pissed at me for it though but i just don't agree with it but yeah y'all let me know what's up i just wanted to drop some of my thoughts because i do get these insights and people are like yo you're brand new to this game like you don't use special style like that i'm like man i use it day one day two uh day three four and five i have not used it anymore 
And it has paid mass dividends as I switched my input off the in, uh, special style and I put it into something else where I can tech. And I could just move around a lot quicker. And I'm just like, yeah, I, I love that a lot more, man. But yeah, y'all let me know what's up. Drop your thoughts. I appreciate y'all. Peace.